Hey everyone, my name is Adi. In this tutorial, we will learn how to draw the hair around the ear. In the last video, we drew together the ear. I will leave the link in the description of this video. I want to let the hair disappear into the background. But if you want, you can cover all the area of the hair. I think it's good to start with the darkest color of the hair when drawing hair with charcoal. Because the dark portion is very big. The highlights and the lighter areas have a smaller portion. Now we draw in monochrome. But this is true when using color too. You can use the side of the charcoal to create a basic coverage in the larger areas and the tip to draw more accurately. The areas near the ear are especially dark because the ear hides them. It's good to start with drawing groups of hair when there are so many details we can't notice everything. We will add lines over later on. The lines will be part of the groups of hair. I use a blender near the ear. Between the face and the ear, we can see a bit of hair. There are always individual hair that go out of the shape of the hair. When drawing lines for hair, eyelashes, you can pull your hand up towards the end of the line. It makes the line thinner in the end. Hair is something messy, and drawing it messy will help it look natural and realistic. The face is in profile. We see the side of the head. In profile, the ear is pretty much in the center. It's far from the contour of the head. If you want to learn more about drawing portraits, you can check out the video that I made about the proportions of the head from different angles. There are various ways to create lines for the hair when drawing in charcoal. You can use a charcoal pencil, the edge of a charcoal, or an eraser pencil. It's good to let the lines disappear into the rest of the hair. They aren't as visible all the way. You can lean your hand on a paper to avoid smearing your drawing. I use paper towel to smudge the charcoal in the places where I want it to disappear into the paper, the background. I draw a line of a single hair that covers the ear. When there's a line that cross a dark area and a light area, the darkness level of the line will change. The line will look darker when it's lighter around it and it will look lighter when it's darker around it. We assess things in relation to their surroundings. Our eyes see shades differently depending on what they are compared to. We can see white in the hair in the highlights, the brightest areas. But adding too much white can make it look like grey hair. So be careful not to make people look older than they are. 
You can go with the blender over the white lines to blend them and to create gradation in them so they won't pop out too much and they will feel connected to the rest. Adding black lines near the white lines can add contrast and feeling of depth. Below the ear, it's very dark. To sum it up, when drawing hair with charcoal, it's good to start with the darkest shade of the color of the hair and to create a general shape, a coverage of the area of the hair. Then divide what you see to groups of hair. After that, draw single lines that go out of the general shape and lighter areas and lines. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye bye.